the blockchain world just witnessed something massive. Caspa, the network everyone called just a fast payment system, just launched smart contracts. We're talking about Ethereum-compatible smart contracts running on what might be the most scalable proof-of-work blockchain ever built. The Casplex ZKVM Layer 2 is live, developers are already migrating, and the implications for KS price are absolutely wild. Stick around because I'm breaking down why this could be the most underrated launch of 2025. Welcome back to the channel, Crypto Warriors. If you're not subscribed yet, smash that subscribe button and ring the notification bell because moments like these separate the early adopters from the crowd. Today we're diving deep into Caspa's transformation from a payment network into a full smart contract ecosystem. And trust me, the numbers we're seeing could make your portfolio very happy. According to Casplex's official announcement today, their ZKVM Layer 2 has officially gone live on Caspa's mainnet. This isn't just another Layer 2 launch. This is Caspa's evolution from a fast payment network into a programmable blockchain that could rival Ethereum and Solana. The timing is perfect, the technology is proven, and the market opportunity is massive. Let me give you the context that most people are missing. Caspa has been building toward this moment for years. Their unique BlockDAG architecture already processes transactions faster than almost any other blockchain. But until now, it couldn't run smart contracts. That limitation just disappeared overnight. Now here's where things get interesting and potentially explosive for KS holders. The launch of smart contracts on any blockchain typically triggers one of two outcomes. Massive adoption and price appreciation, or a slow burn that takes years to materialize. The question everyone's asking is which path will Caspa take? The market is already showing signs of anticipation. CAS is currently trading around 7.7 .7 cents with a market cap above $2 billion, but transaction volume has surged to 2.3 million in the last 24 hours. That's not normal activity, that's anticipation building. But there's a catch. Ethereum, you know, has a massive head start with developers and liquidity. Solana, on the other hand, has proven it can attract projects quickly, then there's Base and Arbitrum, which have shown that Layer 2 solutions can scale rapidly, so, the question isn't whether Caspa has the technology, it's whether they can attract the developers and users fast enough to matter. And then there's the whale activity. A major wallet just moved 23.7 million KS to Kraken. While analysts believe this might be internal exchange shuffling rather than a true sell-off, large movements like this always create uncertainty in the short term. Let me break down exactly what just happened and why it matters for your portfolio. According to Casplex, this SKIVM Layer 2, brings Ethereum-compatible smart contracts to Caspa's network. Translation. Any developer who can code on Ethereum can now code on Caspa without learning new tools. So, the foundation for this was laid by Caspa's Crescendo hard fork back in May. This upgrade actually increased Caspa's block rate from 1 block per second to 10 blocks per second. That's like a 10 times throughput improvement. But more importantly, it enabled ordered transaction execution, which is absolutely essential for Layer 2 rollups to function properly. The testnet numbers are honestly pretty impressive. We're talking over 6.5 million blocks generated, 24 million transactions processed, more than 300,000 unique wallets, and throughput exceeding 1,000 transactions per second. And just to be clear, these aren't theoretical numbers. This is proven performance under real conditions. What makes Casplex different from other Layer 2 solutions is that it actually uses bridged CAS as the native gas token. Unlike most Layer 2s that introduce their own tokens, Casplex keeps the economic value within the Caspa ecosystem. So, this means increased demand for KS as the ecosystem grows. So, a well-known crypto analyst points out that this approach actually preserves economic alignment better than a lot of competing solutions out there. When users need CAS for gas fees, transaction volume directly translates to demand for the native token. The technology stack is, you know, really solid. But let's talk about what this actually means for price action. According to market analysis, three scenarios emerge for KS price by 2026, and honestly, they're all significantly higher than current levels. The pessimistic scenario assumes slow adoption and some pretty heavy competition from established players like Ethereum and Solana. Even in this case, KS could reach 20 cents. That's its previous all-time high and more than double the current price. For a so-called worst-case scenario, that's really not terrible. So, the neutral scenario projects KS reaching about 50 cents if Caspa manages to capture moderate adoption across DeFi NFTs and gaming applications. 
This would really represent steady growth without needing Caspa to completely disrupt the smart contract landscape. At the current market cap, that's roughly a six times return. Now, the optimistic scenario is where things get, well, pretty exciting. If Casplex successfully attracts a wave of projects and really proves its performance advantages over competitors, all while maintaining Bitcoin level security, KAS could reach one to two dollars. That would push its market cap closer to major smart contract platforms and, honestly, represent a 13 to 26 times return from current levels. So, my expert opinion? The neutral to optimistic scenarios are more likely than most people realize. Caspa's unique block DAG architecture gives it some genuine technical advantages over traditional blockchain designs. The proof-of-work consensus provides security that honestly, a lot of newer chains just can't match, and the Ethereum compatibility really removes the biggest barrier to developer adoption. So, the key catalyst everyone should watch is developer migration. Smart contracts are only valuable if people actually build applications on them. According to Casplex, they're developing tools like KRC20 token standards and EVM Lua interfaces to make development even easier. The roadmap suggests they really understand that technical capability means nothing without ecosystem adoption. There's also a timing element that could totally accelerate growth. Caspa's halving cycle, which is kind of similar to Bitcoin's, reduces token emissions over time. Combining reduced supply with expanded utility from smart contracts creates the type of setup that, historically, drives significant price appreciation. The competition factor just can't be ignored. Ethereum remains the dominant smart contract platform, but high gas fees continue to push users toward alternatives. Solana has proven fast execution but faces ongoing reliability concerns. Caspa's combination of speed, security, and now programmability could really position it as a compelling alternative. According to blockchain researchers, the total addressable market for smart contract platforms continues expanding rapidly. DeFi alone represents hundreds of billions in total value locked, and that's before considering NFTs, gaming, and, you know, all those emerging use cases. Caspa doesn't need to capture the entire market, even a small percentage would justify significantly higher valuations. The bridge infrastructure is particularly important. Casplex offers a two-way bridge that enables users to move KS between Layer 1 and Layer 2 seamlessly. This kind of interoperability is crucial for ecosystem growth and user adoption. Early market indicators suggest institutional interest is building. The Caspa Ecosystem Foundation is funding projects like Curve, which aims to become a Curve finance alternative for cross-chain stable asset swaps. This type of foundational infrastructure investment typically precedes broader ecosystem growth. Transaction volume provides another positive signal. You know, the surge to 2.3 million transactions in just 24 hours, coinciding with the smart contract launch, suggests genuine user demand rather than speculative trading alone. It's quite remarkable, really. So, the launch of smart contracts on Caspa, it really represents more than just a technical upgrade. It's the transformation of a payment network into a programmable ecosystem. Now, whether this actually translates to significant price appreciation depends on execution, adoption, and, you know, overall market conditions, but the foundation here is undeniably solid. The risk-reward profile honestly looks compelling across all scenarios. Even the most pessimistic case projects meaningful upside, while the optimistic scenarios suggest, well, potentially life-changing returns for early adopters. Hey! Don't forget to like this video if it helped you understand Caspa's smart contract launch, and definitely subscribe for more deep dives into emerging crypto opportunities. And yeah, make sure to ring that notification bell so you don't miss any updates as this story develops. So, what do you think about Caspa's chances in the smart contract space? Are you bullish on KS, or do you feel like established players just have too much of a head start? Drop your thoughts in the comments below, I read every single one and I often feature the best insights in future videos. And just a quick reminder, cryptocurrency investments carry significant risk. Prices can be extremely volatile, and you could lose some or all of your investment. This analysis is for educational purposes only, and shouldn't be considered financial advice. Always do your own research, never invest more than you can afford to lose, and consider consulting with a qualified financial advisor before making any investment decisions. The crypto market is unpredictable, and you know past performance doesn't guarantee future results.